To get started with the Rolly Particle Visualizer, open up Max. Navigate to File, Show Package Manager. Navigate to the Package Manager and type in the search box, RISE. The RISE package will appear in the search. Click on the package and click Install. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and launch the RISE package. Today we're going to focus on the Particle Visualizer. Open it up. This is a Max Patcher that allows you to use the Rolly keyboard as a way to manipulate video data into various shapes and forms. It has an array of controls and we're going to walk through them. First, there is a preset section. These are some ready-made shapes and forms that allow you to step straight into manipulating your source video in various ways by playing the key waves on the seaboard rise and also using the touch faders and XY pad. To access the three fader controls, press the power button briefly on your seaboard rise. The XY pad has a slit scan type effect. Under mesh controls, the draw mode allows you to change to various mesh styles, including line, quad grids, and all sorts of other options. The force control allows you to dial in how dramatically your touch on the seaboard rise affects the video. Play around with this to see varying effects. Brush fall off controls a combination of the brush size and the distance of the fall off of its manipulation. Think of a single touch as the brush. Mesh dims stands for mesh dimensions. This allows you to set a very small or if you have the GPU power a very large mesh. Release frames sets the time in which it takes from when you stop touching the seaboard rise for the video to return to its normal state. Debug view, if you toggle on, allows you to see your touches on the actual video screen. The video input section is rather self-explanatory. You have a source, you can select camera, you can select movie, or you can select noise. You can turn them on and off, you can select your input device, such as your web camera. The MIDI section, by default, if you have your Seaboard Rise already connected, should connect your Seaboard Rise. However, if you don't, you can click Scan and then select Seaboard Rise or some other MIDI input device. Alternatively, if you connect your Seaboard Rise after starting Rolly Particles, you need to click scan again and then select the seaboard rise. 